does this post on social media, of course, on Instagram, where um, a lady was an Uber driver and she was driving for these um, white people. And I guess, you know, things got out of hand. Maybe they disrespected her. I'm not sure what the severity of the situation was. But nevertheless, she got a little attitude and got the, you know, fussing at them, telling them they can get out or they can sit back and shut up because you in my car at this point, okay? This white woman decides to record her. Why? The intention is to show that black women are angry that we get aggressive when that is not true that is a stereotype honey we're the most happy people that you will ever meet when it comes to a lot of situations but don't rub us the wrong way okay and so i commented on this because i know that this was recorded to blast this woman to say oh look at her she's angry that's what it was recorded for that's what they want for us to do i commented saying i'm glad that she got in the asses the way that she did. Because you're not going to sit in my car. Nobody is going to sit in my car and disrespect me. And if indeed you feel that way, I can pull over and you can get out. So I, you know, commented saying, you know, go girl, tell them. You know, and so this white girl gets on there and she starts to comment, honey. So she goes in and she talks about um, that I'm upset because I'm still a POS, a piece of shit. I'm still a piece of shit. I'm sorry, because I didn't know when I was ever a piece of shit. Unless she's referring to my ancestors. Who you talking about? Who you talking about, Ruby Lee Roddy? Who you talking about, Geraldine Fulton? Who you talking about, honey? Because I couldn't recall when I was ever a piece of shit. But what it did bring to my attention is that... <laughs> we living in white America. we living in a place where, oh, let me not forget that she called me a poor little stupid white black girl. I'm sorry. We living in white America. We living in a place where they don't want to see us win. They can't handle that we are on top. Honey, let me tell you, use your black girl magic. Use it. Educate yourself. Educate your children. When you are at a working level, they, that's where they want you to stay at. Understand that that is where they want you to be because you are not fully educated about what is really going on in this world. Who really has the power? Who really has the control? You're not really educated on that when you're at a certain level. You're just going to work and doing what you're supposed to do to survive. And by all means, I don't knock that at all because I was that person. But let me explain to you. We are at an all-time high right now. We are realizing how to connect mind, body, and soul right now, okay? Trinity. We are realizing what God made us and created us to be, and they don't like it. They don't like it not one bit. And whatever they can do to take it away from us, they're going to do it. Okay, and my response to that white girl was, baby, ain't nothing poor over here. I'm a rich black bitch. And not only that, I'm very highly educated, okay? I am in one of the top universities in Maryland. Master's program at that, okay? There is nothing stupid about me. There is nothing uneducated about me, okay? And I say this to say, don't let them take your power because if you let them take it, they will, they put us against each other and they tell us that it's colorism out here. They tell us that the black men love the lighter complexion black women more than they love the darker complexion black women. Black men, let me tell you, love on our women. Love on our women. We come in all sizes, shapes, forms, and colors. Love on us in every way and form that we come in because we are at a point where they don't want to see us win and they want to divide us and they want to make us believe that we are against each other as well as our men they want to put y'all against one another they put us in these neighborhoods <laughs> where we gotta fight to eat did y'all listen to my poem we gotta fight to eat it's plenty of food out here it's plenty of money out here they ain't tell you that. They ain't tell you that. It's plenty of opportunity out here. Educate yourself. Do not, don't, don't knock education because how long it takes. Even if you don't go to an institution, put your head in them books. Okay? Google. Google what you want to know. Google what you need to know. Educate yourself. They don't want you to talk like that. Why you think they don't want us to educate ourselves? Why you think they didn't want us to educate ourselves back then? Because if we knew what we knew 
Oh, how great will we be? And that is where we are right now. Mind, body, and soul is being connected. God is sending his people, sending his workers. Everything that I went through, everything that I've been through was for a reason. I struggled so bad, so bad. You name it, I probably had some type of experience in it. I done been through so much. I done witnessed and seen so much, so much. I done had white people tell me to my face that I was nothing, that I was stupid and that I wouldn't amount to anything. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Oh, how I am so beautifully and wonderfully and created so great in the image of God. Look at my light. Look at it shine, baby. And you can't stop it. You can't stop it. They don't want me to say that. They don't want me to say that. Wow, let me tell you something. I'm going to always do it for the culture. I'm going to always stand for the culture. I educate myself for the culture. Why? Because I got little black girls behind me. Not only the ones that's in my bloodline, but I got little black girls that I done counseled in Baltimore that I had to show the way. I got little black boys that I had to pull up in corners when I was in the schools in Baltimore City so I can educate them and let them know. I'm making my statement. I'm making my mark. And they can't stop us. We are at an all-time high. Keep educating yourself. Keep understanding who God created you to be. Keep meditating and keep doing what you're supposed to do. What's in your heart? Let go of everything that you're not supposed to have attachments to because that's going to hold you back from being where you need to be, okay? I'm sorry that this message is long, but I had to get this message out. You cannot sabotage greatness, and there is greatness in everybody. We are all created in the image of God. We all hold something within us. All of us. All of us. Please educate yourself. Educate yourself. Don't let nobody take your power. Don't let nobody dim your light. When it's time to shine, shine. When it's time to speak, speak. If you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. Thank you, Rosalind Fulton. <laughs> Thank you, ancestors. Thank you, angels. Thank you, guardians. Everything that I went through was connected. There was a reason. I see now. Every little struggle, every little bit of poverty, every little bit of hurt, every little bit of pain, even my baby, losing my baby. Every little thing has something to do with something to get me where I needed to be. God, don't make no mistakes, okay? Learn your power, educate yourself, love on yourself. Be patient, be kind, do not rush, and do not be boastful. Okay, seek the help that you need when you need it. Don't be prideful now. I done went to therapy, honey. You can't tell me nothing, okay? You can't stop me now, okay? I done got my mind right. It ain't no stopping me, honey. I'm on a one-way track to success. I'm on a one-way road to happiness. I'm on a one-way train to love and abundance and greatness and joy and positivity. And you can't stop me, baby. Don't you see these bees protecting me, honey? Don't see these bees. Let me stop y'all, because this is long. But I had to get this message out there. I'm going to put it on my YouTube. That's what I'm going to do. I love y'all. I'm going to always do it for the culture. Bye.